Ever since I got the Pixel Watch 3, I've been on a journey to get the most out of it I possibly can. In a previous video, I covered my best tips, and lately I've been looking deep into the Wear OS app ecosystem, searching for anything that will help me maximize my use, and I'm excited to share what I found with you guys. In this video, we'll go over a small handful of apps, covering everything from productivity to fitness and even some convenient hidden gems. If you find anything on this list to be useful, leave a comment and let us know what you liked, and maybe consider subscribing for more content like this. To kick off our list, let's dive into a really cool third-party app that, in my opinion, should honestly be built right into Wear OS by default. The app is called Wow Mouse, and you can find it right from the Play Store. This app gives me a flashback to the old-school Android days where you could find all sorts of little niche tricks and little features, and Wow Mouse fits the bill by turning your Pixel Watch into a wireless Bluetooth mouse controlled entirely by gestures. The operation is pretty intuitive, but you can use your arm to control the cursor, tapping your thumb and pointer finger with your palm facing down acts as a left click, and tapping your thumb and pointer finger with your palm facing up acts as a right click. Thankfully, you can change these gestures in the settings to do different actions, plus you can adjust the sensitivity and smoothness as well. I set it up very easily, might I add, on my MacBook Pro and my Pixel 9 Pro by just installing the app and connecting it via Bluetooth, where a mouse cursor immediately appeared after a few seconds. It does take some time getting used to, but seriously, this method of input is so intuitive it makes me wonder why it's not already baked into Wear OS. Next up is an app that is hopefully already on your device, especially if you use a Pixel Watch since it comes by default, and that's Google Keep. It's super powerful, and from what I've seen so far, Keep is a productivity gem, especially on the watch if you're constantly on the move and need to capture ideas or reminders without digging around for your phone. I find it's perfect for jotting down quick notes as you can access it pretty quickly via a home screen tile. From the watch, you can create a new note, reminder, or start a checklist pretty easily that syncs seamlessly to your phone, keeping your thoughts organized across devices. Plus, the voice dictation is simply incredible on the Pixel Watch, so you can share your ideas verbally and quite accurately without much hassle. Now, if you're looking for a quick mental break or something to keep your brain entertained, Infinity Loop is the perfect way to unwind. It's a fun puzzle game that seems to be a one-to-one -one port of the popular mobile game, but is now optimized for your smartwatch. The goal is simple, take an assortment of pieces and connect them to create an infinite loop. The animations are smooth, the levels are colorful and visually appealing, and the game overall performs really well on Wear OS. It's a casual, relaxing way to kill some time while waiting for an appointment or just taking a break without any of the frustration or high stakes that come from other mobile games these days. Personally, I did want to stay away from stock apps when it comes to this list, but the new Pixel Recorder app is a pretty major addition. This originally shipped with the Pixel Watch 3, but thankfully it's rolling out to the Pixel Watch 2 and first gen with the Wear OS 5 update, so many more people should be able to enjoy it very soon. This app is a good way to capture voice memos or, with everyone's consent of course, record conversations on the fly. The user experience is pretty straightforward. Open the app from your list or better yet, a Wear OS tile, and you'll see a big record button and a list of previous recordings if you have any. Just remember to hold the watch close to your face for the best audio quality. Admittedly, it might not perfectly replace the microphone on your phone, but it's a serviceable stand-in when needed. Plus, a feature I really like, you can see full recordings and the transcription on your phone later for easy access. Switching gears, let's talk about something I've had a huge interest in lately, which is my fitness routine. I typically stick to a usual workout regimen, but recently I found this Wear OS app called Seven. The whole concept is seven minute workouts, no equipment needed, and they have over 200 workouts to choose from, though only the full body workout is free. Luckily for me, my fitness goals, and maybe a lot of beginners out there, that free full body workout is more than enough as it hits a lot of areas that I would typically miss only doing weights. The subscription model isn't too bad at $6.99 a month or $83 for the year, although mine had a sale for $40 annually. Anyway, the reason this app is on my list is because it gives you graphics demonstrating each exercise and audio cues right from your wrist. To me, it's perfect for those just starting a fitness journey and maybe you want to ease into it with bite 
bite-sized workouts that can help you build a habit, or even if you are a seasoned gym goer like myself, I love using it to supplement my workouts with the weights. Speaking of staying on track, I've also been experimenting with an app called Focus Keeper. This app is all about time management and helping you stay laser focused on your tasks. Basically, it uses the Pomodoro technique where you alternate between bursts of focus work and short breaks. The point is to keep you focused, get you organized, and make you more efficient overall. It works by setting a task in the phone app, decide how long you want to work, say 30 minutes for example, how long your break will be, maybe 5 to 10 minutes, and how many times you want to repeat that cycle. When you're ready to begin working, hit the start timer icon in the task list and it will display a timer on your screen. When time is up, it vibrates and you manually switch to break mode before starting the cycle again. It's been pretty great to help stay on task or just manage my time better, so if you feel something's missing in your workflow or missing something efficiency-wise, check this app out and you might like it. And finally, I saved what might be the most unexpected app for last. Surprisingly, a Samsung app actually shines on the Pixel Watch, the Samsung Internet Browser. It might sound crazy, but this Samsung-made app makes web browsing on a watch somewhat enjoyable. It's a fully functional browser, so you can visit websites, add items to your bookmarks, use different search engines like Bing or DuckDuckGo. You can even watch amazing 9 to 5 Google YouTube videos on this thing, which is pretty surreal. While I wouldn't personally make a habit of browsing the web on my wrist, it's surprisingly capable, especially on the 45 millimeter watch variant where you have a lot more space to work with. You can usually find what you're looking for pretty easily, and it's surprisingly quick too. And my friends, there you have it, a quick look at some Wear OS apps that have improved my Pixel Watch 3 experience. There's a few that I didn't get to cover, so if you're hungry for more, let me know in the comments down below, or even better, if you have your own must-have Wear OS apps, drop a comment for your fellow Pixel Watch users. In the meantime, I'm getting out of here, but before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. Simply put, we love you guys and greatly appreciate your support as we work super hard to bring the best Android content on the platform, and don't forget to grab the new October wallpaper pack in the community post. For now, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.